up, dorks? It's a rainy day in LA, but luckily I am doing a little matchmaking and I've set up Noah today with a mom. Appreciate that, bro. So we're headed to her place right now. I don't really know what to expect. I've met her once. So I'm basically doing a blind date right now. Yes. You don't know what she looks like. You don't know nothing. I've talked to her twice. She's super friendly. I met her at a yard sale. I believe her dad does like a flipping business. So I was there at a yard sale, met her. And then one thing led to another. Noah's taking her out today. Completely new. I'm a very open-minded person. I like getting to know new people and I like to meet new people. So I'm taking this as like a cool opportunity today. Are you into older women? I've never dated an older woman, but I do find a lot of older women attractive. Mm. I definitely think I've had a thing for like older women. Like I would have crushes on maybe a 20 or 30 year old, even at 10 or under. Was it like your teacher? You yes, there'd be like a eighth grade teacher where I was like, I don't know how to explain the feelings. Like you're just like, oh, she's cute. And then I remember in second grade, there was this teacher and it was very strange. She like asked me to rub her back. And I remember I rubbed her back and I remember feeling the bra. And this was your teacher? Yeah. So you're a victim. Fuck. Yeah, I really did rub her back and I remember I enjoyed it, but that was it. I read a headline, it was like, teacher has a sex tape with her, 28 sex tapes with the eighth grader, and the teacher was like 38 or some shit. Maybe I was a victim then, but I just rubbed it back. Okay, yeah, you know, a little back rub never hurt anybody. <laughs> well, but besides that, I've definitely found older women attractive. When I met her, she has a very youthful energy to her. I'm not gonna tell you how old she is yet. Okay. She's not that, I mean, she's not that old. You just told me she was a mom. She's a mom. She looks good. Okay. Um, okay. And she doesn't f with me. This is a great video for you guys to watch. No one getting embarrassed for the next 20 minutes. But I'm gonna go in there open-minded. Flirting with an older woman or complimenting an older woman, it should just be the same as like any other girl, right? Or are there different things you can't just say, you have really pretty eyes. And it's like, well, they've heard that for the past 20 years. Hey, I got good credit score. <laughs> That's actually a good point because no uh, younger girl gonna give a damn about no damn credit score, but an older woman's gonna be looking for different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, Matt, so how do you feel about older women? Have you ever had experience with a girl older than you? I've only had experience with like a few girls that are only a couple years. Okay. So yeah, I feel like younger guys are always attracted to more older women and maybe they hope that might happen. But mm. uh, me personally, nah, I don't think I've had that situation where a mom's really, I'm cool with moms. Mm. I'm kind of, I'm cool with moms, but uh, I don't know if I've had that next level of relationship. None of them came know. on to you. Yeah, yeah, I don't okay. think about that. We're here my big day. It's your big day. I don't even know how to feel right now, but I feel something in the air. You got any advice for me? Shit, I actually have no advice. Good luck. Thanks, bro. All right, guess it's my big day. Hello. Oh. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I was here to see Jess and your I'm Noah. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, we were expecting you. You're a little late, not the perfect start, but it's okay, come on in. Okay, your name was? I'm Ralph, Jessica's dad. Nice to meet you, sir. Is she, she's here, right? Yeah, come on in. Oh, okay. Jessica, I think this is uh, Noah you were expecting him. Oh, hi. Hey, hi, nice to meet yeah. you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, have a seat. Oh, sure. Yeah. Now I understand this is a, a blind date? You guys never met before? Uh, right. What did you tell him? I didn't actually say much. I just said that we were, you know, still in my phase of meeting new people and met Ryan and he was really cool and Ryan said that uh, he had a friend that I could meet too, so why not? Exactly. I've yes, gone I, through a few of those before. It didn't go well, but hopefully better for you guys. Yeah, I mean, I was just wanted to have, hang out, kind of make the most fun. of this rainy day. Sweet. Now you look like a real clean cut kind of guy. Um, nothing personal, but for Jessica, the way the world is today, yeah. I think maybe you should take take this with you. Oh, Daddy! Now, I did try it this morning. I wanted to make sure that worked fine. Yeah, my heart might have stopped for about a minute, but luckily it wasn't my time yet. I don't think uh, Jessica needs I'm this. I'm not good. Thank uh, you, Daddy. But I, I mean, I could take it for both of us. So you'll you know, be her protector then? Yeah, I mean, because it's LA. Uh, I, I always, I kind of keep my head on a swivel. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, and hey, before we head out, we just had puppies. Yeah, puppies, what? Yeah, don't you want to see the cutest thing in the world? Oh my gosh. No. What kind of dogs are these? These are golden doodles. Golden doodles? Yeah, they're only one week old. Can I hold one? For sure, yeah. Nine days? Yeah. Why are their eyes still closed? Well, they stay blind for the first three weeks. No Especially way. dogs when they're first born, yeah, they're blind. Look at that little face. Look at this guy. They're fresh out. Wow, and they got the little mittens. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
it's almost like interracial. <laughs> They're an interracial couple. Yeah, I'm all for that. They so. made some adorable babies. Bon appetit. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Appreciate you wanting to spend the day with me. Yeah. I know it's not the best day. No. I think today is the best day. I think that rainy days are great. They're needed. I kind of want to like get into your life story because I don't know anything about you. Hmm. So where are you originally from? I am originally from Southern California. Born in Culver City. Born in 1980. So long, that would make you ago. 43? You are so smart. Yeah, quick math. Good I was good at math until about sixth grade and then they were like bringing in shapes and stuff. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Yeah, I was good at math in elementary school. I have a box full of uh, math medals. And then what happened after elementary school? I won enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I continued to do pretty well. I enjoyed it and everything but I got more interested in the arts, entertainment. So I went into entertainment when I was a teenager. Like acting? I became a professional singer mm. in my teens, yeah. No way. At first, I thought I was sucky because my brothers were always telling me to shut up. You <laughs> suck, sis. <laughs> you know? Would you doubt yourself when they would say stuff like that? or 100,000%. But then I did push myself. I went on auditions, got with a record label. Oh, wow. For a couple years, we worked in the studio with producers, all sorts of things. But my style just like didn't fit the industry because, you know, in that time, this is, around the time of when Beyonce was coming out and Rihanna. And so they were trying to make me fit that kind of mold. Like with my look, you know, they wanted me to be in booty shorts and mm. hopping around and singing about new do me baby and all this stuff. I mean, and that's what works, I would say. And then they sound good and look good. As they say, sex sells, right? A hundred percent. But I didn't want to sell mine, so. Mm. Damn, you could have all this talent, but if you don't want to shake that ass, mm -hmm. it's like, well, yep. we can't give you that $5 million advance. Mm -hmm. But I just wasn't down for that. I'm like, well, if that's what I have to do, I ain't do it. And some people were saying, you should just do it, you know, and then later on you can, I'm like, okay, so just trick myself off for a little while. Mm, that still doesn't sound appealing to mm -hmm. me. I did at one point have a $200,000 deal on the table. I think I was 19 or so. I just walked away. I just said, no, I don't want to do this. And then I got into acting as well, joined the union. The thing that I finally did like latest in life is modeling. I mean, you're a very pretty woman. So did, did someone, did someone have to tell you you should do this? Um, well, first of all, you are very handsome yourself. Thank you. Appreciate that. You could definitely model. Do you model too? <laughs> I do not model. Oh my gosh. You could. You really could. Maybe one day. I feel like I'm still glowing up, so I think more age might help me. Mm. And men do. It's it's just not fair. Mm -hmm. Men tend to get like more and more handsome over time. What made you do the modeling? How did that happen? Well, I got pregnant, actually. How old was that? I was pregnant with my second child at 29 or 30. That's when I got my first professional modeling job. Oh, so it was while you were pregnant is where all the modeling gigs were. You That's being when pregnant. I started, yeah. Pregnant models are always in demand because it's like it's a temporary state that you're in. So, so how many children do you have total? I have three kids. My son is 15 and my daughters are 12 and 13. Being a mom is the best thing in the world. And I got married young. I got married at 22. How long have you not been together with your... I've actually been single for some years now. You do any of the dating apps? Yeah, I like... went on the dating apps. Hinge, Tinder's not for me. The vibe that I just, just the vibe in the air when you say the word Tinder. Because, you know, this whole hookup culture. You're not for that? No, okay. not. Mm, mm. At first I was thinking, has to be someone who could potentially be a future spouse, right? Because I'd love to get married again. Just recently, I've kind of shifted to just being open to meeting new people and having new experiences. Hence, that's good. That's why we're we doing are. this. <laughs> Have you ever gone on a date with a younger guy before? You know what? On accident, I went out with a guy who's 28. How old are you? How old do I look? I would guess somewhere around 25, like give or take. Yeah, I'm 26. Four. And I've always wanted to <laughs> date an older woman. Really? Yeah, I've always had crushes on many older women when I was really? young. Really? How much older? I found teachers very attractive when I was like 13, 14. <gasps> Way older. But I was like, I look so young that I don't even know how I would put myself in a position to, because I'm like, oh, I would shoot my shot and they'd be like, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like. These days I do tend to go for a little younger than me because I'm really high energy. I mean, I think 40 <laughs> is a new 20, so. I mean. <laughs> it is. I just like the younger energy for sure. Alright, so before we go bowling, I thought it would be fun if I took you to Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yeah, but. I love it. Here it is, Robert Waldo, the tallest Robert man. Robert Wadlow. Wadlow. He wore a 37 shoe. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, wait. <laughs> is this like true to life size? I My lord. Eight foot 11. Oh, shit. Goliath. Oh, did you press a button? <laughs> You're like 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. Five, five. Holy mother of God. Now, would you want a man that tall? Wait, no. Oh my God, no. <laughs> 
Bruh. That's gotta you be literally painful. have to like climb on. No, literally, I don't know about the half tuxedo or whatever this is. <laughs> what if my dad had been this tall? Would that be intimidating? Actually, I'm at the wrong house. <laughs> so when they say believe it or not, does that mean like believe it or not? Or it could be fake? I think these are true. I think it's like when people say, you know, believe it or not, I really did blah, 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 you know? 12 years she grew this. Wow. How long did it take to grow that? Overnight. Can you roll your tongue? It's like genetics. <laughs> Can you touch your tongue to your nose? <laughs> like almost there. I need more practice. I need to do more tongue exercises. <laughs> This is a Whoa. mummified foot over 2,000 2, BC. And look at that toenail fungus. Look at this Cyclops lamb. Would you, Whoa, date, a, would you date a guy if you had one eye? No. Okay, good. good. That's why I have two, so we're good. <laughs> That's good. Poor lamb, though. I take it back. Some people do have, they have the patch, you know, art. No, but like it's right in the middle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking you meant. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. No, they're the no. They're the patch. Okay. <laughs> Just had to clarify. Oh, this is a shoe coffin. Damn. All the sneakerheads bury me into Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Person's mental faculties can be investigated by feeling bumps and lines on the outside of your head. So what would that do? Mm, I think your mental capacity is great. Just on your left side, yeah, strong. See, why would I even need to need this when I have Jess? <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. You're good. Um, that means I have to step back. When you step on my shoe, I have to step back. Uh, step back. Get a two-faced calf. Let's Matt, do you believe? He's like shaking his head. Yeah, I know. Matt, you I believe this shit? Okay. okay. Well, I mean, there are Siamese conjoined oh, twins. Oh, you conjoined twins? Damn, that would be so annoying. You wake up with a... <laughs> no, you're setting it up because it the person might not believe it, but it is true. Ah, I think that's what they're saying. Like, it it's hard to believe, but this is true. This is my favorite movie ever. Was that the first colored movie or no? It was a big deal. I don't know if it was the first, but it started off in black and white and then became color. That's right. The gate does not open. It says find a solution in this room. Find the oh, this, solution. The Ooh, gate this does is like a, open. Like what am I in an escape room right now? Yeah. Okay. See, now it's going to upset me. If we... I know, I know. <laughs> so the gate does open. Ah, oh, we got it. Hey, teamwork. Let's go. Push it down again. <laughs> there we go. Open it. Work, go work. Go work. That would be the most inconvenient gate to have, though, at home. I know. Honey, could you just <laughs> grab the fucking. <laughs> so what? Someone sits there. We're going to okay. see what type of love push one she is. Let's see. I predict wild. Let's see. Hold up. Let's see. I saw boring flash. Let's see. <laughs> boring? <laughs> Better not land on no boring. And, and you're none of oh, them. I'm all of them. What are you talking about? Is it? Uh, this is a scam. It means I it get to choose. Ryan's money. It was my button up. Did it not sit there all the way? That's right. right. Down a dollar. Boo. No one's gonna try. I got another dog. <laughs> Bro, Ryan loses two bucks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, you might yeah, need to sit on my knee. Well, let's see, let's see. You got another dollar, brother? I'm almost at a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, this is what they both are. And together. We would be. Hopefully I'm warming you up. Yep, I can't be cold forever. Right, maybe I was even colder, because nothing yeah, came No, right. you were so cold. Oh shit. What are we? Wild. Wild, wild what I predict. <laughs> To be honest, you look like somebody that's innocent with a bit of wild. When it's time to go to sleep, is he trying to be a lizard? Ah. <laughs> Cut back, brother. I just don't like when they put the implants in their head and he yeah. shaved his teeth and uh, give me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. Matt, this shit's real. He's got four yeah. eyes. There are people like that. Yeah, that's Matt don't real. believe it. Do you think he has 40-40 vision? Right. <laughs> Can he see my future? <laughs> Walter would eat two boxes of sausages, one pound of bacon, 12 eggs, one loaf of bread, four Big Macs, four cheeseburgers, oh eight large God. fries. Three. First off, that's a lot of money. What was his job to be affording that type my of meal every day? Goodness, 1,400 pounds. See, this is just the average person when you walk into Walmart. Oh, this is the original Superman cape. Damn, you thought they would have done a little bit better back in the this is right. 70s. Went to Party City and just <laughs> cut the... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Happy to, to, to you. To you. It sounded just like it. <laughs> I get it because it makes it makes you look stupid right here. You can <laughs> just see the people. You can see the people here making the tongue faces. This is where we stood level. and we're doing the chunk stuff. All right, Jess. All right, can you grab the ruby? No, you get it for me. I want a ruby, Noah. <laughs> now you can't really grab that, can you? I want to press it. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, you got a shot for a second. Can you grab the ruby? I don't like that. <laughs> oh, this is the wind. I don't have a dress 
dress on so you can't. Because back then, like, just to show a woman's leg was like a big deal. Um, There's her hair if you wanted to look at it. Her real hair? Oh, wow. That's really Marilyn Monroe's hair. What do you think, Matt? You think that's her hair? <laughs> so skeptical. Matt, don't believe anything. Yeah. And we really had to live like this back in the day. The waterfall was your shower. What is this over here? There's like a button that we can press. <laughs> and I made sure she got off first. Am I gotta stop eating Chick Fil A every day? Did you play anything? Oh, okay. I can do it better this way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whoa, that was cool. How's your bowling game? You know, we're about to see. When's the last time you went bowling? Oh my gosh, it has been years. We gotta try right and left. We're gonna see which hand feels. Are you ambidextrous? Yeah, I use my left hand for a lot of things. Well, because you can go Look either at way. all these holes. Just if your fingers are more sausage-like, like mine. Oh. Or yours are more. No, yeah. Yeah, you try this one. I think the small might be better. Okay, yeah, that I, feels I, better? I like that. My turn already? Oh shit, actually it's mine first. Okay, good. Ah, oh, shit. The board says uh, Noah. Yeah! I think the ball was too heavy. Oh, Matt, I'm fucking up, man. I'll be quiet this time. No, no, I appreciate the cheerleading. I okay, need it. Okay, okay. I need that moral support. Go, Noah! Oh my god, that looks great. All right, you're up. All right. Holy shit! <laughs> this is more than I got. I got zero on the first one. Oh my god, god damn! So I'm gonna help you on the next one. Yes, please. Just a little, little too aggressive. <laughs> I also don't want you to pull your arm out. <laughs> more finesse. Oh, you're going left handed. We're gonna try it. Straight on. Straight on. <laughs> oh. There's no such thing as failure. There's just things that didn't work out. That's fair. Slower on, that, on the release. Here we go. Here we go. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> that was solid. Your tips are working. It does. These balls like fly down the. Oh. Whoa! I need your cheering though. Hold up! See? Oh shit! You could do the granny roll almost right. if you want. Wait a second, wait! Did that work? Wait, it will! Oh Did my god! Work? All right, I gotta step it up now. See, the thing is, you're about to get a strike right now. Oh. But down the middle. <laughs> Holy shit! That might work. <laughs> oh, dang it! Woo! Beautiful! Holy shit! That's it! That's it! Go for it! Dang it! Got no wow. Look at that! Beautiful! Drake, where's my lucky strike? That's it, please. See, the thing is, it doesn't matter if you lose at this, you're already winning in life. Woo! Oh my goodness! Ah! Holy, you've been my missing ingredient this whole time to my bowling success. On my hollering. Right hand. No! Ooh, that's, that's it. beautiful! Yeah. Oh, is this the last frame already? Hold up! I need my show! Is that it? Oh, that's, that's it. That's it. You got uh, 69, I got 112. That's cool. <laughs> Are you currently single? I am currently single. So as a single mother, what does your dating life look like? In my opinion, it looks fun to just enjoy every experience. I just like having fun with whatever I'm doing. Relationships in general are fun to me. Like I just enjoy people, right? right. I like choosing people to be around that are also fun. If a guy wants to get your attention, how would they do that? I generally look for a guy who is Christian intelligence, like signs of intelligence. Does he show that he has a mind about things and a matching of my core values? What about physical attributes? I am not big on the preferences. I just okay. like handsome. Um, well, first of all, you are very handsome yourself. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you're handsome, if you're cute. If he's 5'2 and handsome, you're okay? I don't know, honestly. I can't say no to somebody who is shorter than me because I've he's never Christian, actually- He's Christian, he's articulate, he's intelligent, but he's 5'2. Is he rich? That does matter. I just don't find myself attracted to a man shorter than myself. Okay. It doesn't matter, but 5'2 does matter. <laughs> you prefer taller than you are. I prefer taller than you. Okay. What are some red flags that a guy can't have? 
<laughs> That's so funny because I actually, when I had my YouTube channel, okay. I have a YouTube video called Red Flags. Oh, no way. Yeah, Relationship Red Flags. Oh, so you know all about this. Right? You dealt with it so much that you had to make a video right. about it. I wrote it. a whole blog post and then okay. videoed about it. Yes, I did. Number one is dishonesty. Dishonest person is Wait. the worst kind of human being. A lack of respect. You know, somebody who's like rude, unkind, not thoughtful, disrespectful human being. Ill. That's beyond ick. My top one is like violent. Like if the girl's violent, I'm like, I don't want to, what is, is all this? She um, needs help. Seriously, like get help. Like yeah, get no, help. Really, get help. Like yo. For real, for real, get help. Are you currently looking for a partner? I'm on that. I'm just socializing, okay. right? And meeting people and just enjoying myself. Okay. Not thinking of each person as anything you other than just, hey, whoever you are, great. Yeah. I learned something from you. You learned something from me. I don't have any expectations right now. Like I said, I was married most of my adult life. Right. So right now I am enjoying being single and enjoying socializing, enjoying yep. being free. I'm a homemaker and I'm happy to be a homemaker. I've always wanted to be, I always wanted to be a wife and mother, so that was what I wanted to do. What's your favorite thing about being the homemaker then? It's innate, like I want to take care of my home and the people in it. Right. That's what I want to do. I right. don't want to go to a nine to five. I don't, you know, I don't yeah. want to be on a grind. I don't want to hustle. I don't want to be a boss, whatever. Yeah. I want to take care of my home and it's rewarding. I got to actually raise my children, raise them. They were not babysat at a daycare. They were not babysat by screens. They're not raised by the internet. They're raised like, by me. That yeah. is so rewarding. I got to instill in them all the morals that you morals want to pass down. Morals and values. What's right, what's wrong. Wisdom even, exactly. I got to do all that before the world got as crazy as it is, you know, so yeah. it's even a bigger deal now. Alrighty. Welcome to the spot. Beautiful. I know we had a long day. Yeah. You know, from all that cheering that you did for me at the bowling. <clears throat> I worked really hard. I thought it'd be cool to maybe let me spoil you <gasps> for dinner. Wow. So if you don't I mind taking a no. seat right here. <laughs> I love eating. You want to cook? I have a dish prepared. Sweet. You planned ahead. I love it. I love it when a guy plans ahead. This is the last surprise for the night. It's a five course meal. <gasps> And I think it'll be a great meal to share together to end the night. Incredible. So if you could just close your eyes real quick. Oh, it's so sweet. How everyone do that? You can open your eyes. <laughs> you ever had gummy pizza before? <laughs> well, not only that. No, I was wondering why like I wasn't noise. smelling anything. <laughs> like, wait a minute. He said, I'm gonna have this amazing, you know, like amazing food smells amazing. Usually this smells like plastic, but. No, but check it out. <laughs> we got pizza, hot dog. Right, okay, perfect. Fries. Amazing, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Look at this incredible meal Noah has prepared for us. Sis. Cheers. <laughs> oh, 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 wait a second. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> First thoughts? Well, it's yummy. It's a little bit hard to bite into. Oh, oh. Very well done. I like it. Not very filling. It smells better out of the package. We have to have it with our fries. Oh, I'm sorry, here you go. Oh. You could bite that one. Thank you. You're gonna have this one. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Good evening. Oh. Would you guys like a uh, refill of your drinks at all? We would. Yes, please. Well, what would you like to drink? Well, say Coke. Well, I was gonna say Sprite, but Coke will do for me. Diet Coke? All we got is Coke. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Thank you so much. <laughs> well, we're leaving no tip because it looks like they only filled it halfway. Yeah, that waiter sucked. You only got one thing on the menu? <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're gonna write a bad Yelp review. <laughs> Cheers! Mmm! <laughs> it tastes like the real thing. Oh, it does. I do taste it. I'll give this one a go. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't know what they put in this. <laughs> don't hurt yourself now. Goddamn! Boom, bruh! Cheers. Cheers. Okay, nice to have. Well, I am gonna say, I did have a great time today. Me too. It was really nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. On and off camera, we talked about a lot of topics and it's been nothing but great. Would you be open to going on a second date, if you wanna call it, or hang out again? Mm -hmm. Let me pray about it. Yes. Wow, appreciate that. <laughs> I'm gonna ask a deep question real quick. Oh, I love deep. What is the secret to your heart? You went way deep. Mm. Secret to my heart would be a great deal of care and interest. A show of that. Showing that there is care and genuine interest. Don't play games, you know what I'm saying? Be real, you know, be yourself, and that's awesome. What about you? Secret to my heart. I think a 15 pack of the spiciest wings you could get oh, me. Oh, back to spiciness. And a side of cheese fries and constant love and affection. Mm. I'm a 
very affectionate person. So I think uh, if we're watching a movie, we gotta be cuddling. If we're going out, we gotta be holding hands at all time. Love that. I just need that physical touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess people would call that a love language or whatever. Yeah. I need that just to feel good. And Same. I need the girl to just show it a lot so that I'm like, okay, cool. Like whether it's over small things or big things, just to know that the romantic side is still there. But that's really it. That makes sense. Spicy food and some love. Aw. And since I took care of dinner, you're gonna take care of dessert. Waiter, can we get a couple more drinks over here? Nah, the waiter's tired. Just get it yourself. One second. No tip, no tip. One last cheers. Cheers to potentially a part two. All right. You will come back and we'll hang out again. We shall see. Cheers if the video can get 50K likes. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll come okay. back. 50K likes, I'll be back. Cheers, cheers to that.